by percentage with which is portfolio A, B and C, which one should we choose? Okay. Well, let's say the question is, uh, which of the funds uh, would be chosen by an investor? Which of these funds would be chosen by an investor using this criteria, uh, rise criterion if the lower acceptable risk, if the lower, lower acceptable return is 2%? Okay. So let's say, uh, let the lower, the lower acceptable, acceptable return, okay, that's or L be two percent okay so what do we get so let's have a look at portfolio portfolio a okay so looking at portfolio a and uh, well portfolio a is portfolio a is centered on on eight that's its expected return okay that's its or bar okay now we don't want any returns and it also has a standard deviation its standard deviation at sigma is equal to is equal to three okay and uh, so we don't want any we don't want any uh, perf we don't we want to minimize this is two percent or l okay which is which is two this is this is or l okay so the question that we have now is this is that with respect to portfolio a that has a mean value and has a standard deviation okay what's the area to the left hand side okay of two Okay. Now to figure this out, we need to standardize. So we standardize. So we transform. Transform. Okay. And don't forget, by transform, we're using z is equal to x minus mu all over sigma. Now in this case here, what we're really saying is this: is that the z score is going to be equal to well, the mu is the expected value. That's or bar, and x is this is this return level. This is what I want to find the standard the 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 z score for two. So it's actually going to be or l minus or bar over sigma, which is the standard deviation of of uh, of the of the portfolio. So in this case here, we get that z is equal to it's equal to two is the lower risk limit that I want to accept minus eight because eight is the expected value of this particular portfolio divided by the standard deviation of this portfolio, which is equal to three. So that gives us, I suppose, it gives us minus minus two. Okay. So from a standard normal perspective, okay. So from a standard standard normal perspective the question is what is the area okay and don't forget this is we've standardized and when we put in a here it'd be eight minus eight is zero divided by the standard deviation gives us zero so z for eight would be equal to zero so that goes to zero and uh, when we put in two two went to minus two so which is over here so the question is what is the area to the left hand side uh, of minus two okay uh, now I've set tables that gives us cumulative areas pos for uh, positive z scores, okay? Uh, but basically, if if we want to calculate the area in a tail, we're always going to have to take away from one in this case. So it's going to be one minus. Uh, we're going to look up two on my tables. Two is 0 0.9772, 0 0.9772, uh, which means that the area in the in the left hand part of the tail um, is one minus 0 0.9. 772 which gives us a value of it's 0. Point, it's 0. 0.0228 so actually in this case here what we're really saying is this is that the probability okay the probability of us observing these are returns okay the of us ob of, of ser observing a return that's less than okay this rl this rl okay is actually in the, and in this case in this case, it is the probability of us observing a return of a portfolio, yeah, okay, uh, less than two, okay, is actually equal to 0 0.0228. We would only expect to have returns less than 2%, 2.28% uh, of the time, okay, so that's approximately 2.28%. So with respect to portfolio A, okay, uh, we would expect to see returns less than 2%, 2.28% of the time. What about with respect to portfolio B? So let's have a look at portfolio B, okay. So when we look at uh, B, well, let's I'll do the same thing again, okay? So in relation to portfolio B, portfolio B, okay? Uh, well, portfolio B, its return, okay? Its return is 11% and standard deviation is five, okay? So its center value is 11 and its standard deviation at sigma is equal to five, okay? And we're interested in okay. Well, if 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 we fall below two percent, what's the likelihood of us falling below two? In other words, what's that value here? So, the expected return, this or bar for the portfolio is eleven percent, and our lower threshold or L uh, is equal to two percent in this case. And we're wondering what is that area in here? What is that area? Okay, what? Because that's the probability of observing a return less than two percent for this 
with respect to this particular distribution. So once again, we need to standardize, okay? Uh, so, well, maybe we, if we use this formula here, we have Z is equal to the level of risk that we're willing to accept minus the expected value of the portfolio divided by its standard deviation, okay? Don't forget, 11 is going to go to zero. Where does two go to?